in today's class we will learn about introduction to fourier transform here we will discuss the first one introduction second one infinite fourier transform in this we will see definition of fourier transform and inverse fourier transform then third one we'll see fourier sine transform and last one fourier cosine transform model 3 fourier transforms introduction fourier transform is a technique employed to solve ordinary differential equations partial differential equations initial value problems and boundary value problems and integral equations so this fourier transform is uh, one of the important tool to solve these kind of equations here so here ordinary differential equations can be solved then uh, partial differential equations can be solved here then uh, initial value uh, problems boundary value problems and the important integral equations so the subject matter is divided into following topics means this fourier uh, transforms so fourier transform is uh, divided into what here uh, this uh, four parts so fourier transform so first is what here infinite fourier transforms so we'll see what is that so here we have a basic or very important formula for what here fourier transform then so that's why we call because here so it is uh, in between uh, basically what here from minus infinity to plus infinity that's why it is we are going to call it as infinite fourier transform then we have special case what is sine transform that is sine uh, fourier transform then uh, cosine fourier transform and one of the important theorem that is convolution theorem also uh, we have here so based on this we'll see uh, how this fourier transform is defined especially the first part that is uh, we'll see what is infinite fourier transform then we'll see what is uh, sine transform and cosine transform uh, in the beginning of this uh, uh, sessions and uh, with the help of these uh, three concept that is uh, infinite fourier transform sine transform cosine transform uh, we will see the uh, formulas for this infinite fourier transform we'll see the first part the infinite fourier transform or simply the fourier transform any one part of a real valued function f of x is defined by so it is nothing but capital f of small f of x is equal to integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e raised to i u x into dx so this is the infinite fourier transform or this may be called as f of small f of x so this i will call as capital f of u is equal to integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of x e raised to i u x into dx so this is a formula for infinite fourier transform or i can say that only fourier transform so here one more part is there so fourier transform and inverse fourier transform the inverse fourier transform is given by
is defined by f of small f of x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration minus infinity plus infinity capital F of u into e raised to minus i u x into dx. So reverse part of this. So you have to shift it this uh, integral to the left hand side and e raised to i u x is if you shift it to the left hand side it will become e raised to minus i u x. So this is the formula for inverse Fourier transform. So how we have Laplace transform and inverse Laplace transform. Similarly, the Fourier transform is given by f of u is equal to minus infinity plus infinity f of x into e raised to i u x into dx and inverse Fourier transform is given by f of x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi minus infinity plus infinity f of u into e raised to i u x into dx. So this is one of the very important formula for Fourier Fourier transforms. Here for f of u that is uh, for Fourier transform minus infinity plus infinity f of x e raised to minus uh, plus i u x dx this uh, uh, integral should be exist. Uh, if exist then we can uh, get a, uh, a result of what here a function of u. So we need to remember so this uh, limit should be what here uh, integral should be what here exist then only it is possible. So these are the formulas for infinite Fourier transform. Now we will see what is a sine Fourier transform and cosine, tra sine, uh, cosine transform. So we will see one by one. Fourier sine transform. If f of x is defined for all positive value of x then this Fourier sign transform is given by so Fourier that is capital Fourier sign means I will give a symbol fs so f suffix x so fs of u is equal to integration 0 to infinity f of x into sine of uh, sine of ux into dx so this is Fourier what here sine transform and similarly the inverse Fourier sine transform is given by inverse Fourier sine transform is given by f of x is equal to two upon pi integration zero to infinity capital f s of u into sine of u x into d u is nothing but inverse four year sign transform so here one more thing uh, uh, we need to uh, remember that this Fourier uh, transform and sign transform 
So what we have seen once again, I will uh, go back here. So Fourier transform is given by f of u is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity f of x small f of x e raised to i u x into d x. So this is not a Fourier transform and the inverse Fourier transform is nothing but f of x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi minus infinity plus infinity f of u e raised to minus i u x into d u it is. We need to differentiate with respect to what here u into d u is a nothing but what here inverse form. So this is the uh, first part we have seen that is Fourier uh, sign transform we have seen. So now uh, based, uh, similarly we will see what is a Fourier cosine transform. Let f of x be defined for positive value of x then then capital F suffix C that is Fc of u is given by that is Fourier cosine transform Fourier cosine C stand for cosine here the Fourier cosine transform is given by integration 0 to infinity f of x into cos of ux dx so this is what here Fourier cosine transform Similarly, the inverse Fourier cosine from uh, transform is given by f of x is equal to 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity f c of u into cos of u x into d u. We need to remember with respect to u because we are inverse, uh, reversing that is nothing but inverse Fourier cosine transform so these are the nothing but uh, infinite Fourier transform sine Fourier transform and cosine Fourier transform result uh, formulas we have seen now. so based on this we will see the problems so how to solve infinite uh, Fourier transform then we will see what is how to solve sine Fourier transform and cosine Fourier transform